Varanasi or Kashi, India 2024. The Hindu heaven or Swarga. Our spiritual and musical journeys to the east. Varanasi or Kashi is a city on the Ganga or Ganges River in northern India. It has a central place in the traditions of pilgrimage, death and mourning in the Hindu world. Varanasi is one of the world's oldest continually inhabited cities. It is estimated that there are 23,000 temples in Varanasi. Kashi Vishwanath temple is the most important temple. The city has long been an educational and musical center. Many prominent Indian philosophers, poets, writers and musicians live or lived in the city. It is a birthplace of melodious Benares Gharana form of Hindustani classical music. Adi Shankara, Tulsidas, Sant Kabir, Ravidas, Shahanai player Ustad Bismillah Khan, Hindi Urdu writer Premchand are some of the well known personalities associated with the city in one fashion or the other over the centuries. The Ghats of Varanasi Varanasi or Kashi has 88 Ghats. Most of the Ghats are bathing and puja or prayer ceremony Ghats. Most of the Ghats in Varanasi were rebuilt after 1780 when the city was a part of the Maratha Empire. The patrons of Karan Ghats are Marathas, Skindias, Holkars, Bounsleys, Peshawar and Maharaja of Benares. Tulsi Das wrote Ram Karita Manasa at Tulsi Ghat. Brahma Ghat houses Sri Kashi Mat Samsthan, a spiritual school followed by the Konkani speaking Gaur Saraswat Brahmins. In Hindu tradition, cremation is one of the rites of passage, and Ghats of Varanasi are considered as one of the auspicious locations for this ritual. Present India is a rising economic powerhouse. India is building itself hurriedly into world's ultra modern scientific superpower. India is teeming with proud, industrious, innovative, and creative youths. Currently, Bollywood cinemas and songs are the best cultural ambassadors of India. Indian Premier IPL or Tata IPL League is the most popular cricket league in the world. The league was valued at a staggering sum of US dollar 11 billion in 2022. Of the more than 3,200 billionaires existing in the world today, 186 Indians have made it to the Forbes 2024 world's billionaires list. India is the world's largest democracy and at present happens to be the world's most populous nation. T20 
teeming with 1.4 billion young and industrious people. India has a burgeoning media industry with broadcast, print and digital media experiencing tremendous growth. Today India is the fifth largest economy in the world with an estimated nominal GDP of US dollar 4.1 trillion in 2024. Between 1st and 17th century AD, India is estimated to have had the largest economy of the ancient and medieval world, controlling between one-third and one-fourth of the world's total wealth. During the Mughal period, 16th to 19th century AD, India experienced unprecedented prosperity in history. As per the Economic Times and OECD, India is expected to grow faster at 6.2% in fiscal year 2025. Eventually, the rising tides of economic times hopefully will lift the standards of living for all its citizens, making their life and living better. India has a great history and definitely a rock-solid future. The Manikarnika and Harishchandra Ghats are dedicated to the cremation ritual. Annually, some 30,000 people who die in India are cremated on various Varanasi Ghats, about an average of 80 bodies per day. According to Puranas, a Sea Ghat, the Shashwameda Ghat, Manikarnika Ghat, Panchaganga Ghat, and Adi Keshava Ghats are five important Ghats. For past five to five and a half thousand years, India has been a home to several ancient civilizations and empires. India is a birthplace of four great religions. Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Sikhism. Four and a half thousand year old Hinduism is the world's oldest religion. I was born and brought up in North Karnataka, India during the Stone Ages. I left her for more than half a century ago to make a living in Chicago, Illinois, USA. Today I am proud to be an Indo-American, an American as well as a native son of India. I did what was best for me and my family back then. And now India is busy doing what is best for her and her people. It is a square and fair deal. Oh my dear Mother India, Please answer as to how you manage to operate 13,000 trains daily to transport every day 24 million passengers across a vast nation. India, how you manage to feed daily 1.4 billion people? India, I am hopelessly lost to understand you. On the other hand, I'm immensely impressed. Bye-bye, India. Best of luck. Hello, America. Here I come. Written, narrated and produced by M.S. Patil or Mahindra Patil Beyond the Shadow of Doubt from the very heart of Chicago, Illinois, USA. Thank you kindly, March 2024.